what is up risk takers welcome to the kill pete strategy i am pete i'm a top player in risk global domination the daily release on youtube i'm doing weeknight streams on twitch and if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channel come along the ride with me today we're playing another round of classic fixed we have five players and one medium ai i'm the blue player in the third seat uh, settings for the series, we're going to be doing classic fixed world domination, 90 second turn, medium automated bot, fixed cards, balance blitz dice, with fog por portals and blizzards are off, and alliances are on. As I said, I'm playing as blue in the <clears throat> third position. This is Bird Blitz from Bangladesh, sitting around 21,000 rank points, and I am grinding up to Grandmaster on classic fix again, or die trying in the first position the black player star grizzle from the united states of america in the second seat we've chase surrey also an american playing as white i'm playing as blue in the third seat in the fourth position is general law 94 also from usa playing as yellow in the fifth position we have an x or we have a medium ai and in the final position we have amin from france playing as red it looks like i have a really good europe start if i can be cool with white so let me just throw them a little little love in their life would you like to be a hammy? Cool. And I would like that bot to walk out. And if both of those things are true, then I take Europe slowly and carefully. Um, a little bit of love in your life. He wants to go into North America with that move. The two goes up to the five. He wants to go to North America. That's fine. You can go whichever way you want. No, he's blocking me. Okay, that's not a friendly move. No. No, you don't do that. I'll let you leave, though. Okay. And yeah, we're doing this one live on Twitch with a bunch of my friends. How's everyone doing today? Um, they're talking about extinction, which is such a buzzkill. So maybe we can just uh, bring up the vibe a little bit, folks. Um, if possible. Ooh, yellow rolls 4v2 fails. Nobody, okay. It's me. Yellow moves quickly. Okay. That was aggressive and not friendly to me at all. Okay, what does purple bot do? Purple Bot wants South America. Does Yellow want to be a homie? I'm going to say they don't accept. So, Koi, did you ever play much Axis or Allies? I've never played Axis or Allies, but I have played Lord of the Rings Risk. I love Lord of the Rings Risk. That's a good one. Yeah, there's Middle Earth maps on the um, tabletop, but I think the rights are different for the digital version, so we don't have any um, Lord of the Rings stuff on this on this client, on the SMG client. Okay, puts all his troops in Madagascar. Turn two. Black player has no position. And yeah, no surprise, yellow didn't accept my alliance request. Okay, black still wants South America. It's a card external. <clears throat> What does white do? Hits my four. Moves to Middle East. White lines up for Australia. At least white allied me. Does anyone else want to be a homie? Nobody's accepting. Tolkien's family's greedy. Is that why? Are they trying to live off of uh, J.R.R.'s legacy? That's why Lord of the Rings stuff is expensive. Yeah, I'll throw you a heart for that. 
Now you gotta get the fuck out of my Europe. Yep, okay. <laughs> At least I got a homie in white. <laughs> mm. User boy says the slogan for this channel: "Come for the risk, stay for the depressing conversation." It shouldn't be depressing. So different people take conversations about ideas differently, right? I'm like, as a ph philosopher, as a philosophically minded person, I'm invigorated by conversations about ideas. But I also have to bear in mind that a lot of people have a lot of different emotional responses, and a lot of ideas carry emotional weight and are very loaded for some folks. And different people have different abilities in logic and different people have um, different capabilities and uh, capacities and interests in talking about ideas. So you always have to bear all of that in mind um, when you speak publicly about complicated topics because you definitely are very prone to being misunderstood. And you're at risk of hurting someone's feelings, which is obviously never my intention, right? I only have... Love for all of you. And I want you to know that I try to remind you of that. So Koi says, I'm invigorated, but I'm a relentless cynic sometimes. So I, I think cynicism is actually um, logically flawed. I think um, by virtue of us being alive, like I, I'm, I, I, you, you might not have heard my argument against nihilism, So Koi, but um, I think we... In order to live with ourselves, in order to have any hope of living within ourselves well, we have to accept hope. We have to accept that we are working towards something and building something, as opposed to the notion that we are some kind of a virus or awful or unworthy, um, because that's actually extremely toxic for your spirit. Okay, White goes all in on Oz. Cool. Moves the fort guard. Cool. Don't think I take Europe yet, but I take it soon. Hey, thanks, Elijah. How you doing, man? Thank you for the sub, sir. Um, I agree, but also I think that to survive amongst others, you have to sometimes know when to let people pass you as a little more than an argument. I, I, I'm, I'm missing that. Okay, Yellow wants to be cool now. I'm missing that position. I don't think the existence of others... See, I, I'm very much a, um, a unity person, right? I, I, I think the, there is, it's mostly illusory that there's any distinction or difference between us at all. <clears throat> and the gifted. Thank you again, Elijah. Thank you for the gifted. I think the, the framing of humanity as a collective works a lot better to how I under, understand it rather than a group of individuals fighting amongst themselves or each other, right? We are all one. And the sooner we realize that we are all one, the better we will be able to utilize our incredible creative potential to build the world we choose to build together. Creamy Beats. Hey, Pete, I didn't get a chance to come back after I posted the link to the story, the egg in your Discord. Did I ever get a chance to read it? I watched a video on it and I thought it was, I thought it was brilliant. Is this the same one where, um, we are the seed of God, but in order, each conscious life is the seed of God, but in order for God to be born, you have to live through each individual conscious life, or is that a different egg story? Yeah, it's, I thought that was a brilliant take. I loved it. Okay, so black pops purple. Purple will be weak. Purple's the bot anyways. I'm going to take Europe, I think. Do I have cards? I have a dude's trade. I think a dude's trade is actually enough to take Europe. Because we're just going to guard out. And white has been cool with me, and I don't think yellow eliminates one of his two positions to break me. 
But red didn't ally up. And that's okay, because red stack is actually locked in Madagascar. So red doesn't actually threaten me. We'll see how this goes. Taking Europe turn four is is a bit sketch. Um, don't think black or don't think yellow hits. Yeah, don't think white hits. My my biggest concern is from red. Does red hit? I missed a question from Gregory S. Uh, not depressing question. Have you seen the latest Star Trek Spaceship Worlds episode? No, um, I'm a bit out of date with that. Klingon boy band or something? Did not know I needed it in my life so badly. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check it. I'm, I've, I've fallen off of television recently as I've spent so much more time making it. Um, I have much less time to, um, I have much less time to watch it. I, I don't really, I can't do passive entertainment very much, very well anymore. Um, what's my opinion of religions? Oh God. Um, where to start? I think systems of belief that make you more kind, more loving, more generous of others um, are, are beautiful. And I think that if you require a system of belief, um, you either are being lazy or you lack the ability to come up with your own. And that's what I think about religions. So I choose to, um, I choose to derive my belief system based on evidence as much as possible, but, um, also accept that there is the possibility and high likelihood that there are things in this universe that are beyond my capacity to understand and do accept some things on faith. But, but my faith has nothing to do with anyone else's. And I certainly would never presume to tell you what you should believe. So that's the part of religion that I take exception to, right? The audacity to presume to tell others what they should think. There, that's a quick, that's a quick spiel. I hope that encapsulates it, though. Am I a fan of the original movies of the Kelvin timeline? I think the Kelvin timeline was awful. But I'm old, right? So I grew up with Kirk and Spock. So seeing them redone with new actors, I was just, just let it go, right? We don't need to remake everything. How about we try new plots? How about we write new stories with new characters? Too much rehash. Captain Prime says, I believe that religion provides guidance to others. Some need it, some don't. Right. Right. Because they're either lazy or incapable. Exactly as I said, they're either lazy or incapable of creating their own belief system that's coherent. So they allow others to think for them. Which is fine, right? As I started with that whole spiel, if it's... Um, if it makes you better, if it makes you more loving... Right? Then it's a good. If it makes you more generous, more accepting of others. Same issue I have with Disney, too much rehash. Well, you, you guys got to remember that before the internet, <laughs> back in my day, this shit wasn't a problem. Okay. Yellow is moving into North America? No, they're removing black from... Asia, so black has to take cards in. That's not good for yellow. Black's going to cut up off their 12. That wasn't even a good move for yellow. That wasn't even a good move for yellow. I'm still mostly worried about red breaking me. I need to guard against red a bit better. Hey, thank you, Acetrix. Thank you so much. Religion sure had its use before universal morals. Say more about that. What's universal morals? It sounds to me like universal morals is a fancy new word for religion. <laughs> so I use a very broad definition for that term. So any faith-based system of belief, it can be non-deistic, qualifies as, as religious to me. Who shot first in Moss Eisley, Han or Greedo? I think it depends on which, uh, it depends on which version you're watching. Han? All right. <laughs> Han shot first. Elijah Mock confirmed Han shot first. <laughs> okay. 
I'm in a good way now. I don't think I've pissed anyone off. I have Europe. I'm going to build. White has more troops than me. Doesn't look like white is interested in being a non-homie. Okay. White stacks in Middle East. I have no trust in red, unfortunately. So I have a majority stack and I have guard stacks. I'm going to get myself another cup of coffee. All right, red player on five cards. Sets gets the dude's trade. That's good. Keep red down. Let's groove by earth, wind, and fire. I love that. I love that. Let's do that. White's trying to card block red? I think red's going to smack your five. Oh, what happened to yellow? Yellow got smoked. Yellow got fucking smoked. When did this happen? Run three. Do I have cards? Okay, black kills yellow. And potentially purple, if he does it right. Okay, black can kill yellow and purple here. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous sitch. Does he kill purple as well after he kills yellow? Or does he feed me purple? No, I get the purple kill. Sick. I'll take that. Maybe white takes it before me. Yellow smoked himself. Why? Hey, okay, white misses the purple kill. Okay. No, he's getting it. Yep. I'm cool to hang out in Europe, I think. I'm also going to consolidate these two eights um, this way because I I don't want I don't want the Cold War with red heating up anymore. And if they break me, they break me. So I'd much rather guard with threats at this point. Okay, my card is going to be here. Okay, so this is a move, even though red hasn't allied me, this is a test. I'd much rather lose my plus five than lose an eight stack and my plus five, okay? So people often say, why would you do that? Why would you depressurize your border? Particularly with someone who says good game. Particularly with someone who isn't allied to you. Um, and I kind of do that because I want... I want to see if this guy on my border wants to continue the, the, the local Cold War. Black is quite weak at 26 and 4. Do they have a good trade? 
I have, I have a trade. I, I have the potential for the black kill. Five cards? Ooh, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I go for the black kill. What happens then? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. In order to get the black kill, I have to break red. What's up, John Ramboski? How you doing? Uh, morning, Pete. At what point you go from a split defense to Europe to a big stack? Well, I took Europe super early. So this Europe take happened on turn four after a dude's trade. And I wanted to guard it because I wanted to hold it. I was one of the earlier bonuses. Um, yellow tried to kill purple. Thank you, noob. Um, so in this situation, I'm not guarding with, with um, al alliances also... I'm only allianced with red, or I'm only allied with white. Red and black haven't allied me. So I think I can kill. I think I want to kill black here. And just go into the three player. The problem is I have to break red to do it. Which I don't love. I'm going to go off bonus for turn because I'm expecting red to break me. I want to position to North America though, because I don't want to be in the middle of the board. I'd much rather have North America than Europe. So we do, we, we do accept losing both of our bonuses here to red. Um, we're sitting at 61. We're in the lead in terms of troops, but it's a pretty equal three player game right now. See what red does. If red leaves me with anything, I'll go first and second with him, even though I'm allied with white, just because of the positioning. I bet you red breaks everything, though. Yep, seems fair. Takes Europe for himself. Fair. I can dig it. I can understand. He hits my three. Okay. Also breaks South America now. Well, you might as well leave me with nothing, right? I'm actually fine with this. If he wants to hold that, I get to hold North and South. Then we deadly his trap white quickly. Looks like he's letting me, looks like he's letting me deadly his trap white with him. Move the 20 off, or he doesn't trust me yet. Let's see. What does white do? This is a cool three-player scenario. Progress fix. This is fixed. Yeah, fix world on. Okay. White is definitely incorrect putting material in North America, unless it's where he wants his card. Pulls to Kamchatka, right? Doesn't leave, a st leaves a stack there. No, it goes break, break. Okay, it does break one, but not the other. Interesting. And takes Europe? You're crazy! Or Asia? No one's going to let you hold Asia. You're nuts. Okay, so I'm going to show full trust to red here. But now white has a lot more troops than me. Ah, we trade. I'm going to show full trust to red. Okay. 
Oh, baby, with the ET plays raid. I'm going to say thanks, Red. So he understands that I could have broken him there and I chose not to. I leave myself soft to him. White says, well played. Thank you. White says, oh, I'm fucked now. Well, it depends, though. It depends on if Red backdoors me here. Because I was cool to let Red hold the middle column if he lets me hold the left column. He gets slightly better generative. Don't you break me, Red. Let's be homies. Hey, thank you, E.T., for the raid, man. Thank you so much. Is the DC thing still a thing? No. They, they Not only have they fixed it, but they've given us Archeonos again. Gregory S. says, Pete, I highly recommend you to watch The Good Place on Netflix. 20 minutes per episode. Uh, and or in Strange New Worlds. They have alternative episodes of very serious moral and other comical fan service in a good way. Probably right up your alley with your interest in philosophy. Yeah, man. If I had more time, I would do more things. And Red Show's full trust to me. Okay, that turn was very instructive. Okay, I want you guys to see what I did. This tells me that Red is good, right? You see how I could have broken but instead moved off and then red moved off and points to white so we have now we now have white pincered on a three point one two and three white is in the deadliest trap he has his stack locked red and i will kill him and then end the game in a 1v1 And I absolutely do not militarize my border with red at all. I'm sitting with a single 50 stack and red is smart enough to know not to open. White's 44. So we're, gonna, we're just going to tighten the new slowly around white. Red knows what they're doing. I like this a lot. White has about a one, or uh, red has about a one turn lead on me in terms of troops. He does open the stack to him. That's crazy. That was incorrect. That just asks white to sue into you and then feeding me the win. That was crazy. I guess, I guess this is red's first time playing the deadliest trap folks. <laughs> If there was any doubt in White's mind that I was going to hit him, his doubts have been swaged. So you need 80 troops tied up to red. We're in a good way. White sitting on 55 and 5. His stack isn't open to me. It's open to White. Yeah, you're done. You're finished, sir. GG. He knows he's done. He laughs. He's like, ah, I guess I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hit red. <laughs> GG, man. Pete, birds are rodents. Which is the better pet? I don't like the idea of birds as pets, man. I don't like the idea. Birds are meant to fly outside. Keeping a bird in a cage seems pretty cruel. I gotta say. I'm such a troll. No, no. I just like winning games. Cats. Yeah, cats are much better. <laughs> Birds of government drones. Oh, hit me, dude. Smack it. Give it a good schmackerino. Yes, he's manualing. Well, I guess I eat the zoo from red then. Or from white. Too bad. I get second. I'm an ostrich boy now. How's it? How are his dice doing? I think he's overperforming. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get any instigation from me, man. I've already, I already have you in a noose. Just move your stack out and sue into me then. 
you want second. Red could open a stack to me, which I think would be smart for Red. Then he sues into me, and then I might even get third this game. But my generation is pretty good. I mean, I can I can insist on the second. It looks like I'm going to get second. I can insist on the second. All right, uh, chat. Do you guys see a scenario where I get first this game? White's pissed at me, right? I don't see a Yes, I don't see it. You guys want me to wait? Always go for first? Okay. I don't see it. I think I get second and risk third. In in if if I was in a vacuum here, I'd hit white. And just take just take the second. But you guys think I you guys think I should keep keep waiting. Just be patient. Okay. He's gonna slam me. He's gonna white's gonna slam me for sure. As soon as he gets opened. I'd kill white. Yeah. You think I win, Johnny? Okay. You think he slams into red? He might be spamming red to hit me, and if red doesn't, he turns on red. Maybe. Keep waiting. Red could betray you, though. Red's not going to betray me. The uh, White still holds the balance of power. Why would a stack go there? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, he's just protecting himself from the break. He slams you, then you just kill him anyways? Depends on how many troops I have, right? make myself continue to make myself worthless yeah red just banking troops Pray that they do a mistake. Eh, we'll see. I know. I, I know white's open to me. Yep. White is open to me. That's right. I had to. I had to. Or, or not take a card. Ooh. Red pulls off the deadliest. Okay. That's dumb. Do you want, to get, do you want me to give you second? No. He's skipping. Okay. One nineteen to one twenty nine isn't that bad. That was a new experience for Red. Red does not know how to play a dead lose trap. Okay, game's not over. I'm glad to see the game's not over. You can always take second. I think so. Yeah, Red wants White to break. I mean, I want White to break him, so. What is the worst country in risk? Australia. My, uh, my order of, uh, of bonuses is the best bonus is North America, followed by Africa, followed by Europe, followed by South America, followed by Australia. But no Australia to win. Yes, this is true. You think South America's last? No, Australia's last. Australia's worse than South America. Why is white card skipping? I'm not sure. I think he's accepted his fate. He's hoping we hit each other. Which might happen, because red doesn't actually seem to have faith in the outcome.
Asia best. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mention Asia because it doesn't exist as a bonus. Pete and I have the same thoughts about bonuses in Australia's last, as it is a noob magnet that gets bought over. Correct. That is why. Asia ain't real. It's not. Not in this game. My sets, folks. My sets are juicy. He just noobless Maximus, it's true. I pick North America over Europe if you have the chance to choose. 100 times out of 100. North America is way better for a number of different reasons. What if you open up reds 100 and hit 30 of whites? He won't, he won't kill white. There's no reason for him to do it. He's too new. Daniel the Manual. I played a game with my friends who are all noobs. I had an essay position. One of them held Asia because I couldn't stop them. Nobody wanted to break them. Yeah, well. Whoops. I <laughs> guess he won the game. <laughs> yeah, that's it for me. That's it for me. I mean, I probably still lose this game, but whatever. That was it for me. If I'm going to get second, I get second. I'll just take it. Why don't you just let him suicide into me? Because fuck him. I'm not going to waste my time getting second. If I'm, if I'm going to get second anyways. He doesn't break. He fucking misclicked. Oops. He fucking misclicked. Where does the fortify? Put your 118 out. That was not correct. I don't think I win this game, but I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> Move your 118 out. Told you Red would choke. Oh, baby. I like that. Okay. As the 118. Yeah. Doesn't break anything. Okay, gives me a bit more initiative. Where does the fortify go? Don't let me hold the board. Pull your stack out. Yes. Okay. Get a good roll, folks. Woo! Not really. <laughs> Okay, and leave his 35 lock. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I don't think. 45 to 96. I mean, the chances are just infinitesimal that I get.
I get to hold anything. We'll see. 42 to 88. I, I'm still toast. I'll take the second. He's so slow. I think he... I, it's 90 second, Fonty. I'm not playing 60. But you're right. He is super slow. And you know what? I don't even want to win on speed. It's 90 seconds. OMG, no. I'm, I'm trying to get my uh, lobbies to... I, I, do, I do a variety of things, right? I don't want... Um, I don't want the bot outs to be effective. I don't want to attract the bot out, the bot routers. Spend too much time with Kilted. No, the 90 seconds is a means to an end. It's, I mean, you, look, you guys who aren't streaming have a different set of concerns than I do. I just want to get a fair game, right? Red's admiring the attack animations. <laughs> 90 seconds, much more player friendly in terms of filling lobbies. Correct. Much more player friendly. Gregory asks, why did you not disable the confirmation of Fortify phase? It does take a little more time. Yeah. So I've misclicked that too many times. Like Red did in this game, Red cut immediately to Fortify. He misclicked. And it cost, it could have cost him, right? So that's why. Pete, my friend wants to play with zombies, but I don't know how to handle them. Do you have maybe a tip for that? Yeah, or maybe a video. I don't know. Do I make videos on the subject? And go check it out. <laughs> yes, I have lots of videos on zombies. Go check them out. Yeah, the card luck's still here, but he's got way too many troops. 59 goes into Australia. Please lock your stack. Please go in and lock your stack. Please, please. And uh, he's splitting. Damn it. He split. Cool. Nah, this guy beats me. It's cool. I'll, I'll let him beat me now. He's got four times my... Uh, my troops eight might not get it. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, right? There's no way I win this game unless he quits or disconnects. So. Come on, buddy. Keep hitting me. What? Okay. I guess I keep fighting. Lock your stack again, maybe? What's, what's your fucking plan? Seventy to thirty-seven. It's a bit closer. Yep, sets against the tent. I'm just delaying the inevitable. This point. this is winnable. <laughs> it's gonna be a grind. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll keep trying. He just needs all red needs to do, folks. If you're new to one v ones, all red needs to do is just hit me as hard as he can. There isn't a world where I believe this. Where I win. There, there isn't a world where I win this. You cannot start to believe it shouldn't be winnable unless the only way I, it's winnable is if he fucks up super, super hard. Like he should stop letting me hold anything. First of all. And second of all, he should hit me as hard as he can. He sliders the wrong way. Ooh, do we, do we see the Asia hold? Does he stop here and attempt to hold Asia, or does he just keep hitting me? The correct answer, folks, is keep hitting me. Imagine Pete's win this. The video story arc would be insane. I can't win this, guys. The 77 to 20. Like, come on. He trapped himself again. Guys, he's not going to stop hitting me. Yeah. 
And I forget, also gets broken? No? Let's be, oh God. Oh, M, G, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 11 v eight, what's the good line? I don't really have a line to break Europe unless I get perfect, to break Australia unless I get perfect dice. That's probably the, the cleaner line. I just have to get perfect dice though. Not roll through the eight. Okay, we might get there. We get there. We get there, baby. Oh, baby. Ho, ho, yeah. All right. And 17. Put the stack. Thank you, Thompson Smith, for the sub there. Appreciate you. Oh, we got another Joker! We got another Joker! If Red sniped and is trolling, it's possible? I don't think he's trolling. I think he's just new, man. I think he's just new to the game. You can make the comeback. I don't think so, guys. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Ah. Must be a Pete fan just teasing the kill. Lol. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Pete. You rock even at 40. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. He just wants to hold Asia, this guy. That's all he wants. Just let me hold Asia. You think life is starting at 40, Fonty? These are these are words of uh, words of wisdom for Fonty. Ooh yeah. Oh baby. He gets to hold everything. Aren't you 25? Yes. 20, 25 going on 26. Yep, GG, man. Don't give up. <laughs> okay. And death. All right, let's see how we do. All right, so we are defeated by a beginner. We defeat two novices and another beginner, folks. And are we at 21,000 and some change? 21,344, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the Game of Risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on both my YouTube channels, doing weekday streams on Twitch, and for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.